Hello, my name is Caleb Xavier Bug, uh, and I am a postdoctoral fellow uh, in the Industrial and Systems Engineering Department here. Uh, I work with Guy and Gabriel Garcia, and uh, today I'll be talking about our work on implementing uh, federal food service guidelines and how it's beneficial to both human and planetary health. Um, so many of us know that sustainable agriculture has two sides. It has the production side of uh, soil and crop, um, soil and crop production, resilience, production, and things like that. Um, but it also has the sustainable and healthy diet side. Um, and our project focused on the, the demand side, the sustainable healthy diet side. Um, just to give us some statistics, we know that more than two-fifths of U.S. adults are obese, um, and over uh, about 15% of U.S. adults have diabetes. At the same time, heart, heart disease is a leading cause of death. Um, and together with the trend for greenhouse gas emissions, being that our agriculture system produces over one-third of a greenhouse gas emissions worldwide, then food and food systems become a large driver for both human health and planetary health with the potential to nurture both, but currently uh, is harming both, which is being manifested in high cardiometabolic disease rates and climate change. So what we did in our project was to first form a food database from the NHANES data, the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, which looks at food and common foods that are uh, eaten here in the United States. Um, and we formed a food database that had both the nutrient profiles, the greenhouse, greenhouse gas emission profiles, and a healthfulness score um, that came from the Tufts Food Compass uh, database. And together, this database was used to parameterize a linear programming model called the diet model. Now, the diet model was originally proposed in 1939 by a guy named Stiegler, um, and he was looking for the most cost-effective diet um, that fulfilled the recommended daily allowance nutrition constraints um, at that point put forth by the U.S. Policy Council. So what we did similar, similarly to Stiegler was we formed a diet problem, but instead of looking at the most cost minimal diet, we looked at the most environmentally sustainable and the most healthful diet um, that also fulfilled nutrient constraints for human consumption. Uh, the result of this study was that we produced a decision aid tool, a linear program that can be used by federal facilities uh, and can be used by other uh, cafeterias, workspace cafeterias, things like university cafeterias, um, in order to uh, produce uh, menus for its constituents that are as healthy, environmentally sustainable, and nutritious uh, as desired. The next step, uh, in, or the next phase in our project, will be using machine learning and AI tools to uh, minimize the distance between current, um, between current diets and sustainable and healthy diets um, that are prescribed by places like the UN FAO. The UN Food Agriculture Organization defines a sustainable healthy diet as one that is, uh, has less environmental impacts, is economically affordable and accessible, is nutritious and is safe and healthy for all life, and is as culturally appropriate and accessible as, uh, as desired. So um, please stay tuned for the next phase in our research, uh, and I thank you for allowing me to be here today. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.